all right guys what's going on welcome to don's model and bench tonight i'm going to be doing a out of the box review of the academy f4u 4b corsair uh i love corsairs my favorite plane so uh let's get this open and see what we got i already opened the bags just to make everything go a little smoother a little faster in the first bag we have the wings let's see what we got here that's not too bad really fine recessed detail can you see that that's not too bad let me switch that there we go and it's not not too bad at all really really fine detail looks pretty good I don't see any sink marks. There's a few on the back, but that doesn't really matter. You could sand them flat and it should go right together. Let's see what the other one looks like. Not much detail in the wheel well area, but not too bad overall. Same fine detail that was on the the top part of the wings and the bottom part is all one piece all the way across that should make it a little easier to go together not bad not bad again no sink marks anywhere you can see right there where you're supposed to cut open to put the missiles you can see the little areas there on the back where you're supposed to cut open to mount things let's see what's it the next bag this is our fuselage our cockpit instrument panel landing gear propeller fuel tanks it's not bad either same really fine detail that was on the wings the propeller looks pretty good landing gears not bad instrument panel though is a little lacking but it should be okay. Let's see what's on the next sprue. See here, we got the other half of the, cut of the fuselage, fuel tanks, some more cockpit, got the cowling there. And again, same really fine detail. Not too bad. The interior tub is rather sparse, but at this scale, you're not going to see much of it anyway, so it shouldn't be too bad. There's the cowling on the front. Let's see what's in the last bag. last bag has your missile mounts or rockets rather the rockets themselves the bombs mounts for the bombs doesn't look too bad details pretty decent come on focus there we go there's your little mounts the other bomb the rockets not too bad again I don't really see any sink marks ejector pin mark there's a few ejector pin marks on the back but that's not gonna matter that's the side will be against the plane 
Let's see what we got here. Landing gear doors. I'm not sure what those are. Our antennas, our wheels. Got some nasty looking ejector pins there on the wheels. Got your flight stick, pedals, rest of the gear doors, engine, landing gear, a cockpit part. Got your fins there. That's the same fine paneling detail that was on the rest of the model. Looks pretty good. The engine itself could be better, but it has this piece that goes on the front with the push rods on it. That's something, you know, that most of them don't have, so. You got your landing gear. I think those are cockpit parts, gear doors, more gear doors, I'm not sure what those are, maybe part of the landing gear, there's your antennas, your wheels, there's those sink mark, those injector pin marks I was talking about, not good, but maybe we can get them cleaned up, and then over here you've got your light stick in your pedals all together it's not a bad kit decals look pretty good seem to be all in registration not a lot of decals to it but they look pretty good. If you can see that. Not too bad. Put those back in the bag. If I can get them back in the bag. Yeah, we'll put those in the bag in a minute. The instruction manual, one of the big fold out ones. I hate these, but it is what it is. Get that focus. There we go. Assemble the engine, the cockpit, the fuselage, the landing gear. The wings, the towel and the tail fins, at least the rudders built on, that's all in one piece, you got all your missiles, your machine guns, gear bay doors, the bombs, the tail gear, And then your canopy and your fueling probe. There's the sprue layout. Your decals. That's not a bad kit overall. Not bad. It could be worse. Overall, decent little kit. I, I think I'm going to enjoy it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed this. It was a rather brief video, but that was just a look at the Academy F4U 4B Corsair. Uh, all right, I'm going to hop off of here. Hit that like button, subscribe. And don't forget to check out Hobby Link International. A bunch of great guys over there. Building some really interesting models. Pretty knowledgeable guys. Alright, I'm out of here. Y'all have fun.